Hey everyone, Andy's free guitar chart videos here. A big hello to my YouTube subscribers, Facebook friends, group members, and general guitar chart enthusiasts. Today we're going to be looking at, I guess it's chart 168, which is starting cage pentatonics from the same pitch positions on different strings and it's been a little while since I made these uh, these lessons a couple of few days so when that happens as you know that we might be covering two or three charts and um, sometimes they're just improvements of one another so we'll be chart chart hopping um, so where we left off, it might be fair to just look at this chart, which I believe is 167. And that should be a familiar chart. We covered a lot of topics from this the other day. Um, but I didn't get to really finish, you know, um, that last segment. So if you see it start, uh, stop abruptly you know, without me saying uh, goodbye and good luck. Um, it just means that I wasn't watching the clock and we just plum ran out of time. So I just continue on. Let's look at what we have here. Um, and uh, you'll see in the, in the descriptions below, you'll see part one of seven. So when you get to part seven of seven, whether I had a chance to say goodbye to you all for today, you know, uh, that was the crux of the lesson. It's like when the school bell rings and the teacher's teaching. You know, that's it. It, it kind of like a freight train going through your head, you know. So, um, and then uh, there's a lot of noise because students got to get places. And, you know, the teacher really doesn't have anything much else to uh, say to the class. So at that point, he... He raises his voice and, and um, you know, says, and don't forget the homework, whatever. We don't even have that. Um, sometimes I'll look up and we have about 20 seconds, you know, for me to uh, close up the, the su not only the subject, but do the um, outgoing, you know, um, pitch for the uh, link below and that kind of stuff. So... Let's just continue pretty much on the same subject. We're not going to have a drastic change of subject, although when we go in, back to this chart here, 166 was pretty much starting a new subject there. And um, we did talk all about this um, chart, which has a lot of good things. Um, it's just good just kind of pick it up where we left off. You know, we have the new pattern, the, the S5L, okay, which is a, a combination of these two, but it's not just this sitting on top of, of the other one. Okay, this the, is kind of split top and bottom here, and we get these five. And the reason why this is so easy, makes it so easy, is because you have the aliasing aliasing of C and E and aliasing of the C and D down here to give it a good shape so it's easy to remember but of course all this has to be put through the tuning warp you know and this is just if you're doing patterns but it's still got the string shape labels so the G string shape the D string shape the A string shape the E string shape and the C string shape are indeed these notes and we'll see this throughout the lesson Additionally, we have the, the new circle that's the cage string circle, which is important. And that leads us to our next chart um, that has to do with starting the same cage shape, but on the next string up. And to make it even simpler, and this is like this week is the first week like in almost a whole year of doing these cage shapes, that you just find the same note on the next string up so if we have a C note here believe it or not if I go up a fourth here to this F 
there's the same C note right there. So we can start that same, let's say we have a G-shaped uh, pentatonic that's going to start on that A and go. We can start that G-shaped pentatonic on the same A note on that A string, if this capo is where your fret nut is, we're looking at the A string to start that pentatonic. But now we're starting that G shape pentatonic on the A string. Adjusting for the warp there. So it becomes a C shape. Sorry, I even fell for it. Um, I should have just changed over to C shape. So once we find out it becomes that G shape becomes a C shape. can come back down on that C shape. See, then we get a little bit on that bottom string. That we covered in, the, in this chart, and even going back even further in charts, um, you know, we've got pretty much the same subject kind of, uh, you know, going through, coming out in the, of the woodwork. I wanted to get all the way back to this, which is our trinode fretboard. So uh, this is the trinode fretboard split into three. And it's interesting because this has something to do with today's lesson topic. And that is these, these pairs, major, minor, major, minor, major, minor, major, minor. What is it about, what's the pattern? We're always looking for a pattern with guitar. What is the pattern that you can see in each of these pairs? That's hard to see, so I'm, I'm just going to tell you that if you have a pentatonic scale, okay, so that would be root 2, 3, 5, 6. So it would be root 2, 3, 5, 6. That happens to be root position. So that's your E-shaped pentatonic there. Okay, so in that root position, it would be like this. It would be like... Okay. The root E-shaped pentatonic scale. like that okay taking it down to the to the next shape down in pentatonic E would go up to the G shape so we would catch a G shape there that's the first one I was playing it gets a little confusing when you don't start the pentatonic from the bottom string shape inner note so on that G it would have been this this uh, this guy right here, this six, this A to the root. So anyway, what, what makes these things easy is that if you play a pentatonic scale before we got diverted, you know, and I wanted to do it on guitar because this is a guitar chart video, um, but the, the piano is very helpful, especially to clear my mind. So then if I have to, you know, when I'm ready, we're ready we do it on guitar and that's the, the crux of the whole thing so um, but sometimes for clarity I have to play it on the piano you know so then we know what we're doing at least we know what the notes are because if 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 uh, you're a good piano player and you play these pentatonic scales on the notes uh, on the on the uh, notes on the on the piano play them on the notes don't play them in the air they're quite simple okay so when we see a pentatonic